Welcome back to iCast Collectors. What you're seeing today is the Hot Wheels room. Still filled with all of my prized possessions, classic Hot Wheels from 1974 through to about 1997. And I am working on expanding those into the rest of the 90s and 2000s. There is a little bit of work to be done. However, the real purpose of this video is I want to share with you my very large matchbox collection which is in the rest of the basement which I call the Hot Wheels Museum even though there's more than just Hot Wheels here these are all matchbox cars and in this video I'm going to take a close look at all of these cases we're not going to get into anything too specific as far as each model goes but a general overview of every matchbox cars released from basically the late 1950s through till present day. Now I'm not saying I have all of those cars released, but I do have quite an assortment of vehicles released over the decades, encompassing hundreds of cars from each decade, including hundreds of cars from the 1960s, which are quite interesting. The reason why I'm doing this today is because I am actually going to be decommissioning this wall of matchbox Temporarily, anyways, it's been up for about a year and a bit, and it's time to cycle it out for something different. I'm going to be putting up something I haven't really decided yet, but it will be Hot Wheels. What will be staying is the Green Light Collection, which, if we stand back in the Hot Wheels Museum, you can see there is a shelf with a six lane Hot Wheel ramp on it. So everything above the ramp is going to stay there, and that's Green Light. And over here we have Hot Wheels. These are all collector series that are loose. A lot of them are car culture and uh, retro entertainment. Things that I've opened up over the years. Some really high quality nice vehicles in here. And uh, we'll save that for yet another video later because this is going to be quite a complete video just as far as Matchbox goes. And just a recap on the back wall of the museum is Greenlight and M2. And then around the corner, this is all Johnny Lightning. Some of this going back right to the early 2000s. So some nice classic pieces in there. But looking at the Hot Wheels Museum, I've got a lot of halogen lights set up here. There is good lighting with the overhead pot lights, but for filming purposes, I don't want any blur when I'm looking at these Matchbox cars, and I'm sure you don't either. So let's get into a case-by-case -case matchbox car overview. One really needs to stand back to fully appreciate that these cars and cases go floor to ceiling essentially. There's only about a foot of wall not used below there, kind of a tripping hazard protection barrier. The cars are organized chronologically. So starting over here are the oldest cars. And as we move this way, Matchbox cars get newer to the very end, which is just at the beginning of the ramp. The cars are also organized by type. There are a lot of duplicates here. More so for the older years, as I really have uh, an affection for the old Matchbox cars. And uh, we'll go into a little bit of detail about that as this video progresses. This is just the beginning of the overview on the collection of Matchbox cars. You're going to see the steel-wheeled vehicles first, the rubber tire vehicles coming up shortly after that. A variation or a variety of super fast reiterations of the Matchbox cars over the years. And then as we get into the modern years, you'll be able to see on your own what is most recognizable if you shop for these 164 scale diecast vehicles. Let's start right up at the top. Some of these are the oldest vehicles that I have. I do have quite a few more cases of trucks that aren't on the wall. For whatever reason, I never got the trucks on the wall, but if you have any questions about a particular vehicle, feel free to leave a, a question or a comment. I'd be happy to uh, try and answer it for you. I do have a lot of information on all these cars, but as I said, I don't want to get into a casting specific video at this time because there's just way too much to look at so basically let's just uh, take a look at all these old cars 
Really like those Studebaker Lark wagons up at the top. And as you can see, I've got some of the cars piled too high. Basically just running out of room, and the more I got, I just jammed them in there. Uh, opening doors, you can see some wheel variations on that kind of lime green Mercury Cougar. That's quite typical over the years of the early years of Matchbox. And here are some especially older Matchbox ones. You can see the steel wheels on them with the mushroom pin axles. There is one old truck. Some Dodge Diplomats, one of my favorite castings. Got lots of those. And apologies for any shakes or creaks in the camera. I am suffering with a little bit of a bad back right now after I tweaked it. So I'm going to try and move up and down as smoothly as I can to show you the full length of cases here and all the cars contained. And here we see rubber tires being introduced on the open wheel race cars and tractors. Up here is an interesting snow cat, snow tiger actually, with what remains of its rubber track. Some of it has degraded. I do have the pieces, but I'm not sure if that adds any value at this point. Reproduction parts are commonly available for these old Matchbox. They are quite collectible. Lots of ambulances and police cars. Some interesting campers. And even some combine tractors, as well as some very old London Fire Brigade pieces. Steam powered, by the looks of it. Now moving across, we've got some super fast here. You can see the difference in the wheels now. They're a bit thicker, more rounded, and the vehicles tend to roll a little better. We've got a lot of different vehicles here. I'm going to ignore that phone completely. Fire trucks. Now these are called the Rollomatics. They actually have a rotating satellite dish. When the middle axle rolls, it actually turns a gear up in there. So Rollomatics did come out in a variety of different vehicles. Here's another one where the soldier's head actually rotates around as the wheels turn the gear up in that chassis. Lots of construction vehicles, tippers, cranes, some interesting old Jeeps and Volkswagen vans. Even some artillery pieces that were towed behind these Jeeps. Lots of interesting little campers. Another Rollomatic. This one here is a really nice example. The Tiger actually turns around on that dial as the wheel. And there you can see the actuating little flimsy plastic piece that turns the cog, which turns the Tiger. So, quite interesting. And I do like my big old 70s cars. There's lots of station wagons here piled up. Some of them in better condition than others. A whole bunch of Rolls Royce convertibles. I'll try and make sure I don't miss anything. And now we are into, I would say, the late 1970s, early 1980s. We've just kind of gone through the 60s and 70s there. Lots of more interesting cars, including some interesting sports cars, the Supra. Um, well, I don't have a list here, so I'm just going to... I don't want to misspeak, so I'll just show you what I have. And As I said, if you have a question about a particular car, use the timestamp in the video. And I can look back at that and tell you exactly what you're looking at just by flipping one of these cars over. I do have a very large police car collection. These are among my very favorite cars ever produced by Matchbox, and they are the Plymouth Grand Furies. Really nice big old police cruisers, all metal, suspension all the way around. 
and uh, quite a variety of vehicles as you can see tampo variations not all are identical as they seem got gold windows blue windows and some nicely aged Grand Furies as well wheel variations there another one of my favorite are those big old Lincolns that has got to be one of the coolest matchbox cars ever produced. Lincoln Continental. Nice Thunderbirds there as well. Now down into some trucks. A whole variety of older ambulances. Tow trucks. Stock cars drag cars this one is actually from when I was a boy I still this is my original car I was about nine years old when I got this and interestingly enough I have three of them and it's still the one in best condition Dodge Challenger toy man who would have thought I would have become the toy man this is a really hard to find variation of the Dodge Challenger in nice condition anyways that is a tough one to find as I said I'm trying not to talk specifically about certain castings but I do digress okay and now across to some more trucks these were all produced in about the 1980s some original uh, vehicles here from my youth as well including the NASA uh, rocket carrier truck as well as the military version of that truck, quite cool, big plastic missiles. Lots of cool cars in here. Getting some sports cars, some economy cars, lots of Volkswagens, Le Car. This one's an interesting one, the lifted Rompin' Rabbit. That's pretty cool. bunch of nice old IROC Camaros and 300ZX I'm quite particular about these cars as I do own a real 1-1 version 1984 Nissan 300ZX and the Ford LTDs another big favorite of mine I love my big old four-door boxy square cars and there is no lack of those in this collection I remember getting my first taxi at Canadian Tire, also about 10 years old, just before Christmas. One of my favorite cars ever, and that is that is the one from my youth. Still right there in nice condition. Now we're getting to some interesting trucks. And good old Matchbox. They've got everything from the goofiest, most made-up vehicles you've ever seen, right down to... Dodge Caravans with opening sliding doors on them. I mean, that is just a classic vehicle in all sense of the words nowadays. How often do you see a Dodge Caravan of that vintage? And so interesting that Matchbox was able to make a casting of it. Also, another favorite, the Mercury Taurus Wagon. I believe that's what this is. It's upside down. Mercury Sable Wagon, sorry. I'm thinking Ford Taurus, but the Sable Wagon, quite a cool casting. So many cool castings. Now we're getting a little jumbled here just uh, because I sort by actual real life vehicle manufacturer as well as the uh, age of the vehicles and I started to run out of space. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, vans that were released about the mid 2000s, some of them are older. Now this is probably one of my favorite cars as well of all time that Matchbox released. The big old Cougar Villager. That one's missing its tailgate. It did have an opening plastic tailgate, there it is. Pretty nice vehicle, very heavy. Nice size as well for scale. Bunch of interesting Toyota trucks. 
This you may recognize from the Top Gear, the truck, the Toyota truck they could not kill. Theirs was red. But what an awesome, heavy old casting that is. Gotta love that one. Then we've got some old, I think these are Fords. Really nice Ford trucks. Also very heavy. <laughs> Bigfoot. I gotta like that. Some more vans. Riding high. You don't say. Jeep Cherokees. Gotta love those. This is an old one and in very nice condition. Full suspension, of course. I think it's the quad track. That's still a casting made to this day, although rarely. Lots of cool vehicles. Now we're getting into some newer stuff. This would be mid to late 2000s. Some of these trucks. A lot of this stuff I don't find all that desirable. I just kind of put all of my matchbox on the wall. And as you can see, it's not all sorted perfectly well. There's some old muscle cars. That's, a, that's another one from my youth. I've had that car for more years than I can remember. That insane engine on it. So they need to be organized just a smidge better. It is a lot of work as you get more vehicles to try and introduce them into a wall collection and display of this sort without shifting everything and that just takes forever. It's a huge pain in the arse. So things have gotten a little jumbled here and there but overall quite I know where to find things for the most part, which is good. Apologies for any shaky camera. My back is really starting to go here. <laughs> Suffer through the rest of this video, I'm sure. And there we've got some newer stuff. Hummers. Yeah, I'm going to try and give you just a... Oh, this is, this is the good stuff. This is the military. Nice old Hummers. And some other interesting military vehicles from Matchbox mid-2000 release. Some tanks. Some other interesting, very realistic versions of the trucks. It's a Suburban and a Ford F-350. Just a bunch more kind of uninteresting fire trucks, but these Unimogs are cool. These were released around 2011 or 12. Kind of interesting. Really like the old bucket truck with the, the actual functioning bucket thing. Rotates and everything. It's another vehicle from my youth. And I guess I should mention I'm 35 years old, so that's quite a while ago. Unfortunately. <laughs> Bunch of non-interesting vehicles to me down at the bottom. And as we move up into some more interesting things, some Chryslers, some Volkswagen uh, vans. These are all getting newer here. We're out of the classics at this point almost completely. We do have a case just up here. Jeeps, lots and lots of Jeeps. And some of these are new as you can see. We've got a brand new released Jeep Cherokee next to some old vintage ambulances and some uh, Lincoln Continentals, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow or Silver Cloud. They're just not in the right place. I kind of ran out of room as I had mentioned before. Without shifting everything it was getting quite tiresome. So that's another part of the reason why this collection is coming down for a better resort. We've got some interesting vehicles here. Some weird old 1970s matchbox uh, things with some very unusual names quite recognizable for some people as I found out recently and it's kind of a spill over there coming down a couple Lamborghinis <laughs> with two identical Chrysler 300s below those are new this is the Range Rover collection and there again is the custom I did a long time ago with the Hot Wheel bling wheels on the Range Rover from Matchbox. And we've got the Austin Minis, Mini Coopers, um, Land Rovers, lots of nice old Land Rovers. There's some classic ones in here as well. 
These ones here end up becoming quite valuable, and I've probably got about 40 of each. So, just uh, all loose. I opened them all up. I don't know what I was planning on doing with them back when I bought them in 2007, but I do have a lot of Land Rovers. A lot of discoveries here. Land Rover 90s. Then we're into the Toyota 4Runners. Toyota Prius. Subaru. Audi. I don't know what that is there. Forget. Moving up, we've got some of those uh, taxi cabs. Oh, what the heck are those things called again? Citroen. Alfa Romeo, I think. Or MG. BMW. Bunch of Hondas. Honda trucks, vans. Honda Civics. Lots of Honda Civics. I really like the detail in these Honda Civics. It's quite nice. Volkswagens now. Volkswagen Golf, Beetle. Mm, some other classic cars and vans. Of course, the newer Volkswagen Golfs that we've really come to enjoy released this year. Carmen Ghia, those were the classics I was talking about. And then these ones are the Volkswagen Thing. Of course, a bunch of vans, Beetles. A few more Matchbox, we might as well go up here. We've got some of the Premier. These were released in, I think, 2000, 2001. One of only 25,000, so they should be pretty easy to find, but these are really nice. Highly detailed, rubber-tired Ford LTDs. I think I paid about 5 or $10 for them, and uh, quite cool. There's one from, supposedly, the movie Taxi. And a fairly hard um, Mercury Sable wagon to find from the Brady Bunch, even though they actually didn't have a Mercury Sable in the movie or show. They do have an interesting version there from Matchbox. This stuff's all pretty new. Nothing really to worth mention there. Just some newer Matchbox items I've found. So let's shift down once again, going over Cadillac. Love all those Cadillacs. We've got a bunch of hearse. Hearse cars and ambulance cars. These are, I just couldn't stop buying these when they first came out. I think that was about 2007 as well. Scale is very small. They're like 178 or something, but still they're pretty cool. More Cadillacs, some really nice newer Cadillacs in there. Very well detailed for $1 cars, I have to say. Then we're into Mercury, a bunch of Mercury Cougars. Police cars, I think that's a Plymouth, that oldest one there. Dodge Chargers. Purple Dodge Charger. <laughs> Green, lots of different Dodge Chargers. And of course, just tons of police Dodge Chargers. I've got probably about 40 of those as well. Dodge Magnums, Challengers. Bunch of old Plymouths there. Or Dodge something or others, Cornets maybe, I don't know. This has got to be one of the, my favorite cars ever too, the Oldsmobile Vista. Those were released around 2009. The tough one to find is the one with the for sale sign in the window. I'm not sure I actually even opened it up. These taxis are cool. The old versions actually had an opening door. The new ones don't. Now we're into Ford. We've got a bunch of Ford uh, panel vans. Lots of different paint jobs for the Crown Victoria. GT90s, Mustangs, Thunderbirds, F100, some really nice Mustangs of course in here. These are all, again, not that old, but pretty cool. Hard to find. Some interesting newer Fox Body 80s Mustangs, not that old either. A bunch of Ford trucks. Well, we're getting to the end of it now. I have lots more Matchbox cars that are new, stuffed away in tubware containers, but most of these vehicles that were opened are from 2010 and previous. A bunch of Chevy El Caminos there and Camaros, Corvettes, uh, Malibus. But anything that was an exclusive or a multi-pack special ended up on the wall. So you may see things here that aren't commonly seen. Some really nice... Uh, Firebirds and GTOs there as well. Some of those are older. Dating back to the uh, late 90s as far as those GTOs go and 
early 2000s. And what do we got here? Lotus Cobra. Nice cars. Some Porsche. Really like those. 914s are really nice. They never did anything silly with the colors, which is awesome. Every single version that came out was collectible to me. Really like them. Very detailed little cars. Well proportioned. I wish all Matchbox were like that, but I, I realize that they have to appeal to multiple age groups. I just wish all age groups appreciated the same detail. I always enjoyed detailed cars when I was young. But youngsters today want goofy looking cars that look like minions with wheels on them. I'm not really sure why. But anyways. Audi, Lexus. Lots of nice cars here. More Porsche, Cayennes, Bentleys. These things are amazing. Love these Bentleys. And there's a really cool Jaguar. XJ6, that's from my youth. Uh, it's in with some other Jaguars, that's why it's there. Some nice E-types. Lots of nice E-types, actually. Some Alfa Romeo. Nissan Skylines, you guys know about those. And Mercedes Benz. Smart cars, lots of cool vehicles there. That basically sums up my Matchbox cars as displayed on the wall. That's about 65 cases times 24 cars, roughly, let's say 20. That's about 12 to 1500 cars you just looked at. Actually more because a lot of them were doubled up. And there is plenty more. This is the annual sortation process. And all these matchbox typically end up in Tupperware, unfortunately. Situations such as this. Just a massive amount of uh, cars that aren't being displayed. And of course boxes and boxes as well. Now as I always say, and this is how I feel honestly, if you can see most of your collection or as much as you can by displaying it in any way that you can other than just storing them away in boxes, that is really the best situation. All you have to do is cycle them out every once in a while and it's actually a lot of fun because even though it seems like a lot of work, you get to re-explore each and every vehicle as you pick them up and put them into a new storage spot. And then you also get to unearth all those other vehicles that you've left in boxes for years. Or in my case, I've left in boxes for years. So I'm really looking forward to uh, whatever I end up putting on the wall here. And I hope that you guys will stick around to see what that ends up being. Also, if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see, other than what I already have displayed, which is 1974 to 1997 Hot Wheels, and all of my green lights, Johnny Lightnings, and M2, let me know. So basically we're going to whittle it down to all the remaining Hot Wheels over the years that I bought between 1999 and present day. I've been buying them non-stop ever since, just all in those Tupperwares. I also have a lot of Majorette, old classic stuff, newer stuff. I've got Yatming, Ertl, um, Tamika, just so much stuff. Like There's just so much stuff that I could display. And I'm all for uh, putting things up, even for a video or two. So let me know what you want to see, and uh, don't be offended if it isn't what goes up, but I always appreciate all your input, and it will go up sooner or later. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting.